Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a sleeping baby applique, which was a request I received. You could work it with the bow or without the bow, and you could also attach it to the moon that I designed earlier. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, the large one, the size is 11 centimetres wide by 7 centimetres or 4 and a quarter inches wide by 2 and 3 quarter inches. The medium baby crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5 millimetre hook is 7 centimetres wide by 4 centimetres or 2 and 3 quarter inches wide by 1 and a half inches. The small babies crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1 millimetre hook are 5 centimetres wide by 3 centimetres or 2 inches wide by 1 and a quarter inches. I'll be using Katona cotton today so the size will be a little bit smaller than this large one. I'll tell you the size at the end of the video. I'll be using Katona cotton. I've got 222 tulip, 130 old lace and 162 black coffee. I've got a 2.5mm crochet hook for the main part and a 2.25mm crochet hook for the neatening rows. I've got scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends and sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together and to embroider on the markings. Now I'm going to start on the head. I've got my 130, the old lace, and my 2.5mm hook. And we start with 6 chain. For row 1, we work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet we put the hook into the stitch, the second from the hook, and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, and take the hook with the yarn at the end through both loops. Then we work one half double crochet into the next stitch. That's a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. There's three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one double crochet into the following stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then we work one half double crochet into the next stitch and one single crochet into the last stitch. That just gives our work the shaping with the different stitches. For row 2 we start with one chain and turn our work. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, then one single crochet into each of the next three stitches, and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the seven stitches. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn and work 
one single crochet in each stitch. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the 7 stitches. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 7 we start with 1 chain and turn, we'll work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches, so we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, then hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. There's 3 loops on the hook, we put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work 1 single crochet into each of the next 3 stitches. and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch, one double crochet into the following stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch and one single crochet into the last stitch. And that's the head done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row I'm going to change to my slightly finer hook. And we're going to work one slip stitch into each stitch around to our third row, so about here. For a slip stitch we put the hook into the stitch uh, just close to the edge, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. So just one slip stitch in each stitch around to where we'll work our ear. Now I'm um, to where I'm going to work the ear, I work one chain and then work one half double crochet in the same stitch as my last slip stitch, then work one chain and then slip stitch into that same stitch again. And that's the ear and then work one slip stitch in each stitch to the beginning of the row. And I slip stitched into the first stitch and then fasten off.
and that's the head done. Now for the hair, I've got my 162 the black coffee and my 25 millimeter crochet hook and we start with six chain. For row one we work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook, one half double crochet into the next stitch, one double crochet into the following chain, one half double crochet into the next chain, and one single crochet into the last chain. For row two we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each of the next three stitches, and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each of the next five stitches, and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row four we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch, then a join single crochet over the next two stitches. We're starting on this little bit down the side and for row 5 we start with one chain and turn and work a join single crochet over the two stitches. And we fasten off. Then we turn our work over and we're going to join in our next stitch the stitch after the joined single crochet. And then we work two chain and we slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. And then slip stitch into the next stitch along the row and work three chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each of the next two chain. And then slip stitch into the next stitch along the bottom. And then we're going to work one single crochet into each of the last three stitches. For row two we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch and a joined single crochet over the next two stitches. And for row three we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the two stitches. And that's the hair except for the neatening row. I'm going to change to my finer hook. And we start with one chain and we'll work one slip stitch in each stitch 
until we get to the point there. And we fasten off. And that's the hair done. Now for the jumpsuit, I've got my head and I'll be using the 222, the tulip and my 2.5mm hook. And we join the tulip five stitches before the ear in the back loop only so just in there we start with one chain and work two single crochet in the same stitch as our join then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and two single crochet into the following stitch for row two we start with one chain and turn we'll work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch so that will be the first five stitches and then two single crochet into our last stitch For row 3 we turn our work and slip stitch into each of the first two stitches. Then work one chain and work one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. and two single crochet into the last stitch for row 4 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the first six stitches For row 5 we start with one chain and turn, we work a join single crochet over the first two stitches, then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, and work two single crochet into the last stitch.
For row 6 we start with 2 chain and turn. We're going to work a joined half double crochet over the first 2 stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and work two single crochet into the following stitch. We're going to miss that last stitch. For row seven, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches. and a join single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 8 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work 2 half double crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first three stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and then hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop. Then Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the four loops. Then we work three chain. We work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook and one half double crochet into the last chain. This is just for the little foot part. And then slip stitch into the side there and fasten off. And that's the jumpsuit done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row we join just at the head there. Now I'm going to leave these tails because when I weave in, I pull my work in just a little bit in places to get it into the proper shape. So I'll use the tails for that. Now we're just going to work one slip stitch in each stitch around. So just find a suitable place not too far from the edge and work your slip stitches.
and then just slip stitch in to the neck there and fasten off. And that's the jumpsuit neatened. Now when I weave in the ends, I'll pull it in a bit just in there and on either side of the, the foot. So I'll weave in those ends and I'll be back and we'll work the hand. There's the ends woven in for the jumpsuit. For this hand, I've got my 130, the old lace, and we join in the first stitch of the jumpsuit. I'm going to join in the back loop only. And we work two chain, and then work two half double crochet in the same stitch as the join. and two half double crochet into the next stitch. And fasten off. And when I weave in the ends, I weave it onto the side of the face there. Now for the hairband, if you wanted the hairband, use the same colour as your jumpsuit and just work enough chain. I'm going to leave an end because I'm going to stitch that to the head with that. And I'm just going to work enough chain to go from the ear to the other side of the head and bending up. So from about there to there and bending up. So that looks about right and then I'll fasten off leaving a tail. And that's the hairband. For this little bow, I've got my chawl up again. And we start with a magic loop. For a magic loop, I just put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and the long end over the short end to make a circle. Put the yarn around my hook and bring my hook with the yarn at the end through the circle. Then we work two chain work one half double crochet into our circle, work two chain and slip stitch into the circle, then work two chain, work one half double crochet into the circle, two chain and slip stitch into the circle. Then we pull the circle tight, so we just take hold of this tail and ease it in as tight as we can and then fasten off. And that's the bow. I'll just weave in the rest of the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's the pieces. I've got the baby, the hair, the hairband and the bow. The first thing I'll do is attach the hair to the head. This side goes just above the ear and then just stitch it down around to the other side. Next I embroider on the eyebrows, eyes, nose and mouth. For the eyebrows I do a little dash and just pull them up slightly with a tiny stitch. I make the eyes slightly bigger than the eyebrows, slightly wider, and I add little eyelashes. And for the nose, it's also just a dash and pull down with a tiny stitch. I use a brown for them, and I just make a little pink mouth. 
the last thing to do is add the hairband just from the ear to the other side and then just attach the bow so I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finished baby there's the sleeping baby the size is seven and a half centimeters wide by five centimeters or three inches wide by two inches if you've liked my video please like subscribe and share I'm also on Facebook Instagram Pinterest and Twitter the details are in the description below along with the details of my website where I have my patterns the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.